Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to deploy folder redirection in Windows Server 2022 from Windows 10. Before we get started with that video, if you're interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. Without further ado, let's jump in. All right, so here I'm logged in on my domain controller. I also have another virtual machine with the Windows 10 client machine. So with these two in order, the first thing we need to do from our domain controller is we're gonna to go to server manager and we need to create a share. Now we are doing this only for lab. You would usually only do this on a file server and not an actual domain controller. Again, this is purely for demonstration. So we're just gonna walk you guys through it all. All right, next we'll go down to file and storage services and we'll click shares. All right, we'll click tasks right here in the top right and we'll hit new share. We want the SMB quick share. Now for this part, I'm gonna do a custom path. All right, I'm gonna hit browse. We'll select the C drive. And with the C drive selected, I'm gonna create a new folder here. We'll call this redirection. We'll hit enter and I'll press select folder. We'll hit next and we need to actually keep this path for the future. So I'm just gonna copy that to the clipboard. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to make this a hidden share by adding the dollar symbol at the end. Then I'll take the remote path to share, copy, and we'll hit next. Here we can elect to enable access-based enumeration. Essentially, this means that if a user does not have access to it, it's invisible, which adds an added layer of security. So we'll continue on and hit next, and we're going to customize permissions here. Now I'm going to elect to disable the inheritance, and then we'll select this first option, convert inherited permissions. All right, now we have the ability to remove some of these users here. I actually don't want the either of the users groups to have access here. We just want creator, owner, system, and administrators. Cool, I'll hit apply and then okay. All right, once we've removed those two, in order to install proper security settings, we're gonna add. And we actually have not created a security group for this yet, so we're gonna go to Active Directory Users and Computers. All right, I'm signing in as a, a user here, which is why I'm getting prompted for credentials every time I'm doing something. So we'll right click our domain name. We're gonna hover over new and we'll select group. This is a security group. And then we're simply just gonna name the group here. Uh, you can name this whatever you want, doesn't matter. Call it folder redirect managers, okay? Next, we'll find that group, double click that and we'll go to members and we're just gonna add all of the users that we want. In this case, this is gonna be my marketing and operations department, okay? And if I want to add a specific user, I can do that as well. All right, cool. I'm going to hit apply here and OK. All right, I'll minimize this for now. We're going to go back into uh, our permissions, which is right here, and we're going to add that group. So we'll select principal. Here we can just search the name of it, which was folder redirection. I'll check names. There we go. OK. All right, I'm going to change this to this folder only. And we're actually going to do advanced permissions underneath this. All right, and then here are the permissions for lease permissions. Once we have that, we can press OK. All right, and then from here, all we have to do is hit Apply and OK. We'll hit Next and Create. All right, here we can actually close this down, and we now want to get into Group Policy. I'll just hit Windows and S together and search Group Policy Management. Okay, so I actually created a folder in here for folder redirection, uh, but whatever group you want to apply this to, we're just going to right-click on it in the Group Policy Management and we'll create a GPO in this domain and link it here. And we're gonna select this top option here. And then I'll just call this folder redirect managers and I'll press okay. All right, and then we'll right click and edit. This is in the user configuration. So we'll go to users and policies. Then we'll click down into window settings and there it is, it's folder redirection. All right, and then this is which folders that we want to redirect. In my case for the lab, we're gonna go with desktop. So I'll right click and hit properties. Underneath this, I'll hit this drop down here, and I want to redirect everyone's folder to the same location. The default option under here is exactly what we want, and then we copied the root path earlier, if you recall, so we'll paste that in here. Now there is one thing to take note of in the settings tab. If we select this bottom option here, assuming the policy is removed, essentially it will go back to the way it was with this option selected, which is probably a good idea. All right, and then we can hit apply here and we'll hit yes and we'll hit okay. 
All right, and at this point, we can actually close down group policy management. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and fire up the Windows 10 client machine. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so just for the sake of testing, I'm going to create a new folder on my Windows 10 machine here. We're going to call this test folder. All right, and then we'll go back to our domain controller. And then, again, we were in the C drive here in our uh, redirection folder. There we have our test folder and any relative documents that we put inside of that folder will be redirected exactly here. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of this process, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. We strongly encourage any video topic ideas that you may have and a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.